Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Shoshua 2018. First of all, I want to thank Chris Barrett. Thank you very much, sir, for coming out today. I really hey, appreciate it. Thank you. Um, today, we really want to look at your 224 Valkyrie. Yeah. And uh, you guys jumped on this Valkyrie bandwagon uh, like so many other rifle companies these right. days, and it's really cool. So please, take it away. Yeah, Vista put a lot of energy into not only the development of the cartridge, Federal, into the development of the cartridge, but you know also partnering with gun makers. So it's, they did it the right way. This is exactly how you launch a cartridge. So we responded as quickly as we could. Uh, the cartridge was, as most people know by now, really designed to optimize the performance of AR platform rifles to turn them into a 1,000 yard at least capable rifle. So it was a natural for us to put it in the Rec 7 line. So this Rec 7 that we built here, this is actually from our advanced research group. So this is a very early uh, concept gun that we wanted to bring out and see what people thought about this configuration. So this one is really geared towards optimizing the performance of that Valkyrie cartridge. It uses a 22 inch barrel, which is longer than on any other Rec 7. And we're gonna call this the LR configuration. So it's a long range. Uh, you know, you see there that it's got a muzzle break on the end of the muzzle, not that the 224 was a big recoiling cartridge, but when you're shooting long range, the ability to have the rifle not move so that we can actually see the impact of the car of the projectile is a great value. So we, we went with a muzzle brake on that, uh, the really nice Magpul PRS precision rifle stock, and um, all the other enhancements have, uh, that are coming out on the new 2018 and up Rec 7s we see on this rifle. So just to be clear, this is not the final form that will be released for sale? Well, or? you know, the way it's been received here, this may very well be. So what we did this year at SHOT Show, it's not something we always do, but we took the opportunity to build up a concept gun, if you will, a couple, and see how they're received. So we can take feedback here. If people say, you know, I really like it, but I don't want a 22 inch barrel. I'd like to have an 18 or, you know, let's do a different stock. We can get that feedback. So far, the feedback has been that this is an ideal platform for shooting out to a thousand yards with an AR. Do you, uh, are you looking for sort of a PRS competition with gas guns for the kinds of market that this is going for? Well, Who would I, ideally use this? You know, I'm not sure on that one because I don't know if the Valkyrie cartridge will meet their, um, their criteria that they have to have in the PRS gas gun series. But, you know, I could see something like this being used for just plain fun to shoot a long range or certainly long range farming, you you're know, prairie dog hunting, things like that. So. You're hitting a thousand yards with an AR-15. Right. Right. So you guys also have yeah. the Fieldcraft in Valkyrie as well. Yeah, the Fieldcraft is, um, you know, our new lightweight hunting rifle. So we also saw it as a natural fit there. You know, this rifle in um, its kind of base form is a five pound rifle. So the, the virtues of having a very light hunting rifle that can be carried all day that also does not recoil yeah. and is very precise at long range is a, it's a great thing. So. Same deal here, our advanced research group built up this concept of a field craft. Uh, yeah, the ARG logo. ARG. This yeah. is the dream team, right? This is the dream team. This yeah. is our custom shop, if you will. Mm -hmm. So, it not only is it an outward um, thing that people see, it's also a real team within Barrett that develops technologies that go into things we use, but they have the ability to kind of pull off a production line and do things like this. So they get to work outside of the regular production process. So the 224 Valkyrie and this new Fieldcraft, still a very lightweight rifle, but we also went with a 22 inch barrel on it. This will be a great like walking around varmint rifle. Um, you know, a lot of people will shoot deer with this with the fusion bullet that Federal is offering. So they have really covered the bases on the cartridge offerings right out of the gate. They've got the marketing right, they've got the message right, they've got the right partners. They did a great thing here. Yeah. So just, uh, I think I did this last year at SHOT, just to kind of show our viewers mm -hmm. just, yeah. uh, just how light this thing is. It's, it's tossing yeah, it around. It's, it's a hard thing to perceive just in camera on yeah. video or, you know, stills. You have to hold it like that, but that does tell the story. And that's a heavy optic on there. Even with the scope on there. Right. Last year, I, I don't think there was a scope on there. No. And even with the scope, like, yeah. there's nothing to it. It's, it know? makes the rifle a joy to carry. It's the one you want to pick up and go with. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much for talking about the Valkyrie, sir. Uh, today, and then I'd like to move on to the machine guns real quick. Yeah, let's look at that. Cool deal. Hey guys, so that was Barrett's entry into the Valkyrie cartridge, taking a different step in the opposite spectrum of small arms. Yeah. I really wanted to introduce the Barrett 240 LWS to our viewers here on YouTube because 
we usually think of Barrett as making precision rifles right. and stuff and the sovereign line of shotguns. Yeah. But also, Barrett makes machine guns. Yeah. And that is just the coolest thing in the world. We, um, we like to innovate on all kinds of weapons for the military also. So we put a lot of principles that we have on design into this 240 LWS, making it as light as possible, as compact as possible, but still with the, the rugged reliability that the U.S. soldiers expect out of the 240 Bravo system. We just want it in a smaller, more compact profile, and in some ways it's even more more durable because of the lack of rivets, which we can get into. And you you machined the receiver, right? How right. did that work? That was, that's how you made it better so, than, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the receiver is machined in two halves from solid billet and then joined together with a laser welding process. So what that does compared to the standard, the, the Legacy 240 system that is all riveted together, it provides a one piece monolithic receiver component that is not only much lighter, but it also has eliminated the liability of having a rivet sh shake loose or rust between laminations of riveted components. So it's really the way to build this machine gun in this century. It's a, you know, it's really perfected, really lightened up a lot and no extra anything. So what are, so a lot of our viewers are probably intimately familiar with the 240. Um, what are some points on here that you can point out that somebody who's handled the 240 before right. can say, I appreciate that, that's pretty cool. Well, the so. biggest thing on this one, uh, the LWS specifically, the S stands for short. We have a LW version, but the short version is much shorter than your standard machine gun. So on the standard 240B system, the trigger group the trigger housing here is at the very rear of the receiver. On the LWS, it's moved as far forward as possible up to the ejection port, which shorten the overall length because now the stock is much shorter. Oh, and the stock is also, you know, length to pull adjustable, depending on what kind of gear you've got on. So if you need a different length on that, you can set it up and get comfortable with different gear on your head or on your body. So that's the biggest thing about the LWS that makes the compact form. Uh, other things we see that are, uh, that are very innovative, I believe, are the, the carrying handle, which now flips fore or aft to allow you to carry the gun by the carrying handle still, even if there's an optic mounted. So that's a very nice feature. Uh, we've done a lot of things that aren't so visible on the outside, like a top cover that actually stays up with an optic attached. With so, an optic. With an optic yeah. attached. And a feed tray that has some cartridge retaining paws here. What this does, you know, combined with the top cover that stays up and these belt retention paws, it allows a user to actually reload this machine gun one-handed without another crewman, you know? So mm -hmm. when I'm behind the rifle, behind the machine gun, I can throw a belt up here and this will actually hold the belt in place with these ratchet paws until the top cover comes down. So that's something that on the, the typical crew served machine gun, you know, you have one guy sometimes has to position the belt here while the, the other operator closes the lid or maybe the maybe the, the helper is doing that but that's a neat little feature we have on there fold up front sight uh, to match the rear sight because we know a lot of times now these machine guns are being deployed with optics i mean almost every weapon system is now so we decided to have the sights go up and down this one's got a shortened barrel um, another really big feature about this one especially for people that are operating the machine gun dismounted is the ability to take off the bipod right. yeah right? you can pull those off like that so yeah. just that easy and we know on the standard u.s military machine gun those bipods do not come off without some tools and several minutes of work so here we oh. can go on and off with a, ti a titanium lightweight bipod assembly so i think we've really optimized the 240 package into the lws it gives a dismounted gun that uh, can be used for all kinds of missions, but also still mounts up on a vehicle. Wow, that's amazing. And just so our viewers also know, there's, this is the LWS, which mm -hmm. is a lot shorter, your shortest right. basically assault version of it, right. but there's also the LW, right. which is equivalent in uh, dimensions right. to the two, to It's the, the same form as the 240B. Right. right there. And at this show, a shocker for a lot of people might that we're actually shooting this machine gun in 6.5 Creedmoor. Yes, I yeah, saw so that. We did a lot of uh, demonstrations on Monday at the show in 6.5 Creedmoor based on some user demands, and it performs beautifully. Wow. So it's like even better than a 308 in a lot of ways. Uh, no recoil, 
very great trajectory, downrange, very good energy. So, yeah, we're we're doing a lot of uh, a lot of things with the 240 platform. Wow! Thank you very much, sir. Hey, thank you, Miles. I appreciate you coming on the channel yeah. again. Always um, good to see you. And I am hoping our, our our viewers can really take a good look at some of the stuff you guys have, it's either whether it be you know Valkyrie for long distance stuff, yep. or just appreciate the fact that there's an American-made 240 machine gun these days. I, I, I appreciate that fact for sure. Cool. I hope you guys have a good show. Thank you. You too. Yep.